on this video we will be showing uh, what the robot or what the system sees when the robot drives autonomously and delivers the goods from point A to point B on the warehouse. So the robot is being filled in with uh, boxes and uh, this is the robot on the map. Uh, this is exactly what robot actually sees via the controlling system. So um, the indoor navigation system is covering several ales, but the robot will be using only this ale and this corridor and then uh, brings to this place. Uh, but the system is larger, so the robot effectively could drive to any of these points covered uh, by the map. So this is one submap, another submap, third, fourth and so on. Submaps, there are many submaps. And here you can see the service zones. And this is the service zone for this submap. It's basically telling the system where each of the submap uh, is, which area each of the submap is covering. So this submap is covering this area, and this submap is covering this area, and the overlapping is the handover zone. So this is important uh, when you do uh, the network planning and when you do uh, their uh, checking how well the system is uh, tracking and how well the handovers are performed. Uh, this box is a player. It's embedded inside the dashboard and uh, it is showing the statistics about the particular task. In this case, the drive of the robot. Total driving time, or total time, driving time, hold up time, inactivity, charging, and end time. So you will see in real time uh, the performance of this uh, particular task. Or you can see performance for any task. So you can upload their log file and analyze post factum, or you can see the same in real time while it's performing. Now let's check more. So as you can see, the robot received uh, the command, just one button click to go from point A to point B. The robot knew in advance that this will be the path because this path was uploaded by the dispatcher and uh, basically the task of the robot to bring from this particular area to this particular area. That's it. As simple as that. There could be many other areas, so there may be point A to point B, point C to point D, and so forth. We covered all this territory, so it means that the robot could effectively drive from this dot to like this to this, or from this to this and back. Uh, any, any. So that's that's the whole idea. And as you can see, the statistics are already changing. Please notice uh, how the robot is controlled. So the robot sees not only the location, but also the direction. So we are using our own feature, which is paired beacons features. So there are two mobile beacons. One is here, another one is here. And you can see the track from both. And by knowing uh, the position of uh, mobile beacon 20 and mobile beacon 21, uh, the robot is able to calculate not, not only its current X, X, Y position, but also the direction. And the robot is using in order to drive directly uh, on the right direction and the right place on the ale. As you can see, we didn't provide the well coverage, so there was probably uh, some sort of obstruction in this area. Uh, so there, the coverage in this area should uh, have been better. So uh, uh, we don't know the details, but most probably there, there was no direct line of sight between this beacon and uh, and this area. Uh, the spark in this, you know, lack of coverage brought uh, this jump and as you see there's also 
there's also some strange behavior at the last meter of driving. But the robot recovered and successfully delivered. And you also you can see already the statistics based on this. So out of the total driving time, four minutes, uh, the movement was three minutes and uh, about one minute was uh, inactivity, basically waiting time while loading. So this is drive back and uh, th the same story. So one button was clicked, but in this case the button corresponding to this uh, point, point A, and the robot was driving back with the same load. And please notice, now there will be a nice accidental test actually. Uh, a worker, engineer from the factory, uh, decided to test whether their uh, obstacle detection and avoidance works on the robot and it worked su successfully. Please notice that the person jumps in front of the robot, robot stays on the place, detects there the person, stops, then when the path is again available, the robot drives, continues driving. Okay, so that, that was exactly the time. The robot successfully de detected it, stopped with, uh, you know, well in advance, uh, no danger for the person. When the person went off the roof, uh, <laughs> off the roof, off the path, and uh, the robot continued. As you see, there's a hold up time. Now it's becoming uh, less and less visible because it was just, uh, you know, some, some fraction. And uh, most of the time the robot was driving. So these statistics uh, showing their utilization of your mobile assets, in this case, uh, the robot. As you can see, the robot successfully delivered the goods, in this case from point B to point A, and uh, ready to, to be offloaded. Thank you very much one more time. Uh, check our website and ask additional questions if you have any at info at Thank you very much.